Yeah, man, I, I'm eternally grateful to my fans. There, there's no reason for me to be here without them. I mean, the only reason I get to do this is because they allow me to do this. They continue to love and support. And it. Brandon Urey is an American singer, songwriter, and musician, best known as the lead vocalist of Panic at the Disco, of which he's the only original member remaining. In high school, his friends chose him to be the band's lead singer after initially considering him for the guitarist position. Yuri has appeared in albums, singles, musicals, a movie soundtrack, an award ceremony, and more. Many of his songs have achieved commercial success, reaching high spots on billboard charts and millions of sales. Yuri is known for his expansive four-octave tenor vocal range. Brendan won an award for the best vocalist at the Alternative Press Music Awards in 2014. Yuri joined Twitch on September 30th, 2015. As of February 26, 2021, his streams have accrued more than 4.3 million views. Fans online, and it's amazing. But I, I thought I would take a little more time off, and I'm already starting music. Uh, not with anything planned in mind, right. but just working on some, some ideas. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Brendan Boyd Yuri, but he's also known as Bebo. He was born April 12, 1987 in St. George, Utah, USA, making him age 34 at the time of this production. He stands at 174 centimeters or 5 feet 8 inches tall. Yuri has cited Frank Sinatra, Queen, David Bowie, and Tom DeLonge as his biggest influences. Yuri has said that he's been diagnosed with ADHD and was prescribed medication for the condition at a young age. He says he likes to be open about his mental health to his fans. He's also a human rights advocate and created the Highest Hopes Foundation in 2018, a foundation that provides support for other nonprofits that work in human rights. In 2018, he launched a nonprofit organization for human rights and started streaming on Twitch. Yuri met Sarah Orzachowski at one of his shows and then again a few months later after friend Haley Williams of Paramore reintroduced them. The two began dating and announced their engagement in 2011. They married in April 2013. The couple lived in Los Angeles until 2017 when they moved to an undisclosed location seeking more privacy from Yuri's fans. Yuri has been open about his sexual orientation, saying in 2013 that he had previously experimented with men, but generally would describe himself as straight. In 2018, he announced that he was pansexual, stating that while he was very much in love with his wife, he also wasn't opposed to being attracted to men. And the first time that we met, it was, she's so personable and a bubbly is probably not the right word, but she really is. I mean, she's such a warm and welcoming person. And the fact that she has a passion for the things she's doing. Brendan Boyd Yuri was born April 12, 1987 in St. George, Utah, and his family moved to Las Vegas, Nevada when he was two years old. Yuri attended Palo Verde High School in Las Vegas, where he met future Panic bassist Brent Wilson in his guitar class. Wilson asked Yuri to try out for the band he was in since they needed a replacement guitarist. Yuri described himself as a spaz in high school and explained that one student would always bully him. He worked at Tropical Smoothie Cafe in order to pay his band's rent for their practice space. Yuri graduated high school in 2005. When Yuri had initially auditioned for the band, he did so as a guitarist, but was then made lead singer after his bandmates heard his impressive vocal range, which spans twice the octaves of the average male singer. Panic at the Disco began as a cover band for the popular group Blink-182, but soon began creating original music as well. After creating a demo, Yuri and Ross sent the recording to Pete Wentz of the band Fall Out Boy, who then drove to Las Vegas from Los Angeles to hear the young band live. He was impressed during their performance and decided to sign them to his label, Decadence Records. After Yuri graduated, the four band members relocated to College Park, Maryland to record their debut album, A Fever You Can't Sweat Out, which they released in September of 2005. When album sales began slowly, they were helped by Wentz's promotion of the band to Fall Out Boy's fan base. Additionally, once the music video for the single, I Write Sins Not Tragedies was released, 
The album jumped up the charts and was certified platinum by August of 2006. The music video for the single was the 2006 MTV Video Music Awards Video of the Year. The band had begun 2006 as a supporting act for other bands, but ended the year headlining their own arena tour. In 2007, the band began recording their second album in the rural mountains of Nevada, but ultimately scrapped all of the songs and replaced them with new material that they recorded in Las Vegas, which then became the album Pretty Odd, released in 2008. While the album generally sold well, it didn't do as well as expected considering the success of their first album, though it was reviewed more favorably by critics. In 2009, the band experienced a dramatic reformation, with Yuri being the only original member to remain in the band. The shakeup was due primarily to creative differences, as Yuri wanted to take the band in a more polished pop direction. Joined by two new bandmates, Yuri released the band's third album in 2011, Vices and Virtues. Panic at the Disco went on to release three more albums, with Yuri being the primary creative talent behind the music, as the other band members frequently shifted in and out of the band, with some remaining touring members only. In addition to his work with Panic at the Disco, Yuri has collaborated with a number of other bands and artists and contributed to a variety of projects. He provided vocals on a couple of Fall Out Boy songs on two of their albums. He's appeared in a number of Fall Out Boy's music videos, as well as videos for Gym Class Heroes and The Cab. He's collaborated with Rivers Cuomo of Weezer, Dylan Francis, Travis McCoy, and Taylor Swift, among others. He also performed at the 2013 Kennedy Center Honors honoring Billy Joel. In 2017, Yuri starred in Cindy Lauper's Tony Award-winning Broadway musical, Kinky Boots, from May to August of that year. Two minute long just instrumentals. Some are uh, 30 second voice memos, gibberish. Some are inside jokes written on napkins at bars. <laughs> There's all kinds of different stuff, yeah. Most of his wealth is from his very successful band, Panic at the Disco, where he's the only original member remaining. But he also gets a significant amount of money from his collaborations, solo events, and musicals. Brendan Urie's net worth is $12 million. Singer-songwriter Brendan Urie paid $1.17 million for a three-bedroom home in Encino. The couple lived in Los Angeles until 2017 when they moved to an undisclosed location, seeking more privacy from Urie's fans. Yuri is very private about his real estate, and there's not much we know about his properties. These are the cars you're expected to find in his garage, Lamborghini Aventador, Audi A8, Mercedes, Range Rover. A Ferrari. A Mustang Shelby.
a Rolls Royce. 